This is Charles, and this is Harry, and they've both been on Lorenzo's Oil for two years. My name is Michael Benton, and I'm 12 and a half years old. Yes. I've been taking Lorenzo's Oil for four and a half years. This I is my brother Gregory and my brother I've been taking Lorenzo's oil for three years. Some of the activities I'm involved in are baseball. Lorenzo's oil for six days months. I'm going to I've been on Lorenzo's oil for four years. My favorite is oil. I've been taking Ben's oil for one year. A Southampton company is being credited by the parents depicted in the movie Lorenzo's Oil with saving their son's life. But as News 12's Connie Conway reports, Hollywood fails to give the company its due in this movie. A real-life drama is being played out on the big screen, but one of the major players is missing. Actors Nick Nolte and Susan Saradin play Augusto and Michaela Odoni, the parents of seven-year-old Lorenzo, who is dying of a disease similar to multiple sclerosis. The disease is known as ALD and usually affects young boys. The film portrays the parents in a desperate search to save their son. They come up with a formula of refined salad oils that may help retard their son's debilitating illness. But the film fails to portray the Southampton oil and fatty acids merchant who would come to their aid. Robert Barrett of Polyester Corporation remembers getting the call. Um, out of the blue, Lorenzo's father called up and asked if a formula could be made. Augusto was very uh, intense on what he wanted to do. He was very focused, very centered, and he was always a gentleman, and he was, frantic would be a strong, too strong a word. I think he was uh, highly motivated. Baird found a London company to manufacture the formula, and for a year and a half, yeah. his company was the sole distributor of Lorenzo's oil. Back in 1986, when Baird was distributing Lorenzo's oil, it came in a jar this size, the supply lasted two months, and it cost $1,000. The price of Lorenzo's oil is significantly higher now, distributed through the medical system and regulated by the FDA. Whether it actually works is still being debated in the medical community, but don't tell Beard that it doesn't work. One who had the adult form called me up from, I believe, Nevada or Utah, and thanked me and said, you know, all my life I've never been able to do certain things and now I can. It is that kind of testimonial that Baird says more than makes up for having been slighted by Hollywood. We did good. We helped out all these little kids. That was nice. In Southampton, Connie Conway, News 12, Long Island. And Connie says, as happens in Hollywood, the scene of the Southampton company in the movie ended up on the cutting room floor.